The combine command can be used to add bodies together to merge them into one body. It can be used to subtract a body away from another. And it can be also used to create a common body between the two, meaning that whatever space is common to the two bodies is what's going to be retained and the rest is going to be deleted away. So I have five different bodies here. The simplest combine option is add. So if I control click both of these and right click, I have the option to combine. I can also access this option from the insert features. And I can also look at what a preview of what these are going to look like. So I can choose out as many bodies as I want. If I chose all of them, it'll go without any changes to any of this geometry. And you'll see if it's unable to create the feature from those bodies the feature won't allow you to complete the operation. The next option is to subtract away a body. And in this case you have to choose a main body which it's going to retain and you choose a body to subtract. and that'll create a hole in this part or this body and you'll notice that that secondary option the bodies to combine get removed out completely so for example if you're working with a sweep or if you're working with multiple sweeps and you want to create a cut between two bodies so you get that notched cut. The subtract command in this case will remove out the other body so it's typically not exactly what you want. This is a case where you could use the move copy bodies to just create an extra copy on top. and then you can always combine these to get that subtraction. As long as you put the correct bodies in the right boxes. So you can see if you hide this out you get that notched cut and you retain this extra body and remove out the extra copy. The last command is the common option. And if we show the preview, we can see just the overlapping elements of these two bodies are going to be retained. So you see just the sliver of overlap is what we get. And this can be a pretty powerful option. Sometimes it's difficult to create the geometry from scratch and can be significantly easier to create by just combining two different features from two separate bodies. But that's how you use the combine tool.